What's going on guys? Welcome to Coding Privacy and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the label widget to display text and images in Tkinter. So without wasting time let's get started. So I'm gonna make the variable label and then it's basically simple tk.label right and then the first argument is root and then you just simply need to write text is equal to this is the label widget whatever you want to write and then let's pack it okay let's see how it goes so when i run the application i can see this is the label widget text so that's very simple way to display text but you can do more into it right so what you can do is you can write width is equal to 300 let's say height is equal to 150 and then what else background bg is equal to black you can write black yellow green white or the hexa codes obviously and then foreground is equal to let's say yellow okay let's see okay so here you can see that the width is equal to the geometry that's 300 height is 150 the background is black foreground is yellow which is the text color so there are a lot of different functions options i would say options available for label widget as well as the other widgets that we are already seeing in this video but i'm going I'm, i cannot show you every each and every of them right so you can go into website and you can google it and find out more if you really want to do that but this this functions or options should really suffice for you so this is how you can you uh, use label widget to display text but now how to display images right so what you can do is you need to import the image and then you need to convert it into tkinter photo image format and then you can directly place them into your labels sounds good let's do that so there are two approaches that i'm going to show you this is the first approach so photo is the variable and then tk dot photo image and then you just need to mention file is equal to so i have an image right over here in the assets folder so in the assets folder there's an image called image dot png and that's what we are going to use so i'll say assets please give me the image called image dot png this is my destination now i have the image in the photo variable so let's remove this part text and then let's directly put image is equal to the variable name sounds good so instead of text now i have the image and let's run it and see how it goes so i can see the image clearly but what i cannot see is the image is not packed into a label because i guess the image size is more let me let me show you the image so this is the image but the image size is more than the label size which i have mentioned over here okay so that is the reason image is going out of the label widget now what i what i need to do is i need to resize the image like compress the image to the same size as label widget and then i need to show it to the label right give it to the label so to do that you cannot just simply use the tkinter photo image function right this is the function that we have used right so what we can do is this is the second approach which i am going to show you guys what we can do is we can use the pil library which is photo imaging library also called as pillow and uh, we gonna use two functions image and image tk so pillow library is used to create and manipulate text formats that's what the library is used for so we are going to use that library to open the image resize the image and then we'll see what we can do next right so i'll name the variable as photo2 and then um, not tk image right dot open and then in here i need to mention the address like the destination of the image which I'm going to copy and paste it. So now I have the image in photo two variable, right? So how do I resize it? So you can simply resize your image by photo two dot resize function. And then 
in the resize function there are two parameters we need to mention the first one is the geometry like what is the width and what is the height in parenthesis and the second one is the resampling rate right so in the first one we'll see 300 um, comma 150 because that is the size of the label right so that is that is where we want to fit the image and then the second one is the resampling method that we need to mention which is pretty much default like inbuilt in the pillow library image dot nt alias so image dot nt alias is the resampling method and this is the geometry size and let's say now we have the resized image now what we want to do is finally let's again change the image from pillow method to tkinter photo image format okay so to do that we already have a function we have functions for everything right so converted image is equal to image tk is the library that we have used in this uh, what we what do we say pillow library right so dot photo image and then we'll say resized image so there's only one argument which is needed which is the resized image we have already mentioned in the previous lines so now we have a converted image variable which contains our resized image which i'm going to put over here and then let's try and run it so if i run it cannot import name image tk from below okay i'm gonna comment this one first i don't know why this is happening i'm just gonna copy and paste this okay I don't know why it didn't work out but let's see now okay so you can see the image which is resized and now it totally fits into the label because the image size is the same as the label size so that's how you can display images to the label widget guys and um, that's all for this video thanks for watching and uh, my name is Harsh Pradhan from codingprivacy.com see you in the next one